fatal dive to the Titanic out now on Hulu. It was originally an ABC news special and it takes you through Stockton Rush, who is the guy behind the deadly dive that happened um, with the Titan submersible. A bunch of people going down to see the Titanic wreckage, the Titan submersible imploded and a bunch of people passed away. This is sort of a cautionary tale at times about the risk of innovation. That's kind of how they're dubbing it. I kind of get where they're, you know, calling that in the description. It does um, take you through what it means to be an explorer and those risk takers. This documentary does a great job because it has people that had already gone on that voyage down in the Titan submersible and lived to tell about it. You had experts in the field of submersibles. You had um, James Cameron, hello, the Titanic expert of the universe. And you had a bunch of other experts. You had people that knew the people that perished, talk about you know what they were able to do, what they accomplished over all the years. It does a really good job of laying it all out. It does lean into what it means to be an explorer too, because I'm all for exploration and people that are risk takers to me are the ones that move us forward. And at times people do pass away from those explorations. This has been happening. This is not new, but where it goes gray for me is that Stockton Rush was or seemed a little desperate for money to keep this thing going. And in it, he took it upon himself to risk other people's lives that may not have known how risky it really was or the issues and problems that the community had already been talking about regarding the Titan itself, specifically this submersible and how it was built and engineered. We all have seen the clip of him talking to somebody about how the submersible is um, a PlayStation remote control or something, or one of those remote controls. And that's kind of comical in a way, but is it? I love seeing people that have ideas that are, you know, outside the box, breaking the mold, being creative, uh, having innovation all around. But I think where it went awry here is that he was he was pretty much lying to some of these people that wanted to go to the bottom and see the Titanic. That's where I have a problem. Do it on your own, Do uh, have people test it that understand that they're testing it. I don't think that a lot of the people that went on this Titan submersible knew that they were semi guinea pigs or Stockton Rush just really believed in what he had and didn't listen to the community around him that was telling him otherwise. Really good doc. I give it four out of five stars. If you love this sort of history and then also things about tragedies and also historic. I mean, this is, was a historic piece. Uh, we all remember the news media and the craziness there. Check it out. It's now, now out on Hulu.